name is Janelle Kappas, and I'm a lecturer with major in career exploration. My name is Tim Weiss. I'm the director of academic advising for the College of Liberal Arts and Sciences. I primarily work with natural sciences students who are in their first year or new transfer students, and have been in advising for about 10 years. I think it's really important for students to get a better sense of who they are and what kind of career they want to do. Um, so I work with a lot of students who say, I just want to do so many different things and I have so many different interests. So what we focus on in our program is helping them figure out what interests might be hobbies for them and what interests might be more the types that are better suited for a career of some type. A lot of people tend to think that there's just one right choice when you start at the university. You know, many students have an idea of what they want to do. Um, they pursue that and love it the whole time. But I think for many more students, they really need to take some time to find out what's important to them and where their values are and explore the, the various things here at the university. For instance, uh, there's many, many majors that students have never heard of before they came here, but they may take a class that just really speaks to them in an interesting way, and then that takes them in a whole different direction that really helps them understand where their value set is and what they might want to pursue. You know, we, we tend to hold ourselves that there's one right decision that'll dictate the entire course of our life. And really what I recommend for my students is they try and just make that next right choice for them. I think that they can really take incremental steps toward wherever their interest areas are and really uh, develop the skills and experiences that they need to be successful and satisfied uh, when they move out into different areas outside of ASU. We want our learners to be thinking about their interests first and foremost. We know that interests are the best predictor of career success um, for lots of reasons. So we really want students to focus on interests. We also want students to focus on thinking about the future. And sometimes thinking about the future can be scary. But one of the things we talk about in our program is this myth that people are gonna do one thing for the rest of their lives. And that's really not how the world is shaping up to be anymore. So one of the things we really want students to think about is what kind of career do you think you wanna do in your 20s? and maybe how might that career look different than the career you do in your 30s. So in our program in Majoring Career Exploration, we offer one credit, seven and a half week classes for any and all students on campus. And in those classes, it's a really short, intense time where we're gonna help students figure out their interests, look at their values, look at their personality, research the majors and colleges at ASU. In that class, students also have an opportunity to shadow um, and interview a working professional in a career that they're interested in. At the end of the seven weeks, they put it all together, and we found students make a lot of progress in that short period of time. In addition, our office offers one-on-one -on -one career counseling, free of charge to ASU learners. Students can come in, meet with a licensed vocational psychologist who will help walk them through their career process, answer any questions they might have. That's another really great resource that students have here. Some resources that I think are important, uh, you may not find this surprising, but I recommend starting with your academic advisor. But ASU actually has resources that are available to students outside of the traditional appointment through the ASU website. These include just our basic degree search, our major maps that show the curriculum of all four years of all of our programs across the university, and if students are really just exploring a lot of different options, there's even things on the degree search website such as Me3 where they can help them navigate uh, different interest areas. And if students are in between a few different majors, we have just implemented a new Change My Major system through their My ASU where they can send out information to respective advising offices where someone will actually contact them back and talk about various questions they have so they can continue that exploration. For family members who are concerned about their student changing their major, I think something that's really important to understand, especially in our college alone, is that about half of our students change majors within their first year. And sometimes people look at that as a negative thing, like their students lost or they can't figure it out or whatever perspective you bring to the table. But I'd actually argue that that's more of an active participation in their education here. They've identified through really searching deep that this path isn't the right way for them anymore. 
they've actively searched out other opportunities to really make sure that they can find something more suitable for them. And really, uh, something I'd recommend is just help them out by asking questions about their decision, but without judgment, because they're already very concerned and very aware uh, that this is a big life decision for them. And I assure you that the question, what are they gonna do with that, is the front of their mind at all times. There are a lot of students who come to ASU who choose a major because of either family pressure or friend pressure, and then two weeks in they say, I don't wanna do biology anymore. So I think the best thing parents can do is be patient and be okay with students not knowing. We want students to find that major that's a great fit for them, that they're gonna enjoy, um, that they're gonna wanna go to those classes, that they're gonna wanna have those internship experiences, rather than choosing biology and then chemistry and then biochemistry and still being unsure. Because when a student's not settled academically, it makes it really difficult to be settled socially, to be settled here in terms of getting involved on campus, and we want students to have a great experience. And we know that they can have a great experience if they feel great about the major that they've selected.